Hey everyone, it's Lee at My Productive Mac, and I just wanted to show you a quick Alfred demo on how to use Alfred to convert currency. Now, I have to do this a lot for sending out invoices to customers in different countries. And whilst doing a quick Google search to find the currency is okay, an Alfred workflow would be even better, and here it is. So you'll need to download an Alfred workflow package from GitHub, and this is the URL that you can use to get it. Now, a simple Google search gets you here as well. If you search Alfred Currency Converter, it's like one of the first results that comes up. Then as I scroll down, obviously a big shout out to all the contributors on this workflow. It works really well, as you will see very soon. I'll click download here on this link and then download it here. And now if I come to my downloaded files here in Safari and double click this workflow package, it automatically imports into Alfred. Now I'll give it a category, so this is going to go in Tools, and I'll click Import. Okay, that's stage one done. It's in, now how do we invoke it? So to find that out, I'm going to double click on this script filter to open it. And at the top here is the keyword. So this is saying that I'll open Alfred and type C, although you can change this keyword to anything else that you want. There's an action that you need to take though before you do run it for the first time. So if we look at the script that gets executed, we need to put in the default currency. So this will be your home currency and it needs to be in the standard three digit format. So I delete this DKK and put in GBP here. Okay, now I'll click save and let's check it out. Does it work? So I'll invoke Alfred and type C. That's a good start. So the first result is currency converter, now the query. So 30 US dollars and then below it's converted. And if I was to press enter, then it would be copied to the clipboard. Okay, let's do one more, let's do 50 euros. And there we are, that one works as well. And like I say, you could go to Google. Um, I do occasionally do comparisons to see how this result works versus the Google one. And it's always only a matter of a few pence out for me on larger amounts. So I'm happy with that because this whole process saves me a fair amount of time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already for more tips like this as and when I feel like sending them out.